Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. It's been a couple of weeks, maybe even a month, since we made our last video. All kinds of stuff has happened in the meantime. We've got about 50 projects in the shop. That's one of the reasons we haven't had a chance to make any videos. But here's an especially frustrating problem that I've got right now, and that is finding top dead center. Trevor's going to come over here and take a peek at this engine. Here's what the scoop is. This is a 1970, oh, maybe a 7980 MGB. It has over here a uh, white sticker. That white sticker indicates that it's a California spec car. It also says what year it is, but I can't see it from here. It's a very late model. And the engine's gone bad, so someone said, hey, let's put in an earlier model engine. Now, the installation job is horrific. It's all welded and it's just awful. But the problem I've got today is I've got to tune it and I've got to find top dead center so I can set the timing. The problem is the timing marks up through 1971 are at 6 o'clock, way down here at the bottom. Well, I can't see them. Well, I could take the cardboard panel out of the way, but what a lot of hassle. Um, you know, it was 1972, they put the timing marks up here at about 11 o'clock so you could see them. But I've made an ingenious device because this isn't the only time that we run into having trouble finding top dead center. So I've got an old spark plug that I drilled the middle of, put a piece of, of copper tubing on it, a piece of plastic tubing on that. I've taken my number one cylinder, I brought my engine around to almost top dead center so I could see the top of the piston and I have already, so it doesn't take a lot of time here, I filled this cylinder with 90 weight gear oil. Now when I put in my tube, I think I've already shown you. Let me get him threaded in there snugly. And hang his guy up here. And we're going to go ahead and turn our engine now. I may be able to turn it by just putting some uh, pressure on the. And you can see the. See the oil cut come up the tube? Oh, that's it. Right there, it started to back, back up. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come at it again. And I'm going to come back up the tube until it's just at the very topmost. There it is. There's top dead center. Is that cool or what? So now I'm going to mark it. Trevor can watch me use my crummy little paint pen here. And we're going to see if we can get a good mark here on the on the front cover. And of course, this is absolutely not anywhere nearly as good as the timing mark on the car. But that's a pretty good mark. It's pretty wide. We'll be able to find it when, when we put our timing light on it. Now, the only downside of doing this is when we start up the car, it's really going to smoke. So here's my tube. I've just got done blowing it back out. Trevor's going to come in and and we're going to take a look at the amount of oil that's here in, in the engine. Now, you can see it oozing out, out of that cylinder. And l let me tell you that you have, to, um, you have to get rid of that oil before you start the engine up or you can get a hydraulic lock. And no matter what you do, it's, gonna, it's just going to smoke like you can't believe out the back end because we've pushed oil down the rings and into the valves and in the exhaust and so forth. Anyway, that's how to find top, top dead center. I am going to take an air blaster once we're off camera and put it in there in a rag and blow out what I can. But you can find top dead center with this. Putting the screwdriver down in there just doesn't work because that piston comes up and as it's at the top of its stroke, the piston moves very, very little. Okay, On either side, it really starts traveling. But right up the very top, in that 20 degree sweep between 10 before and 10 after, who knows where the piston really is. So only by using a device as this can you get this done. Thanks for watching the videos. I appreciate your comments. I, I read the MGB experience comments. All kinds of comments there. And I uh, look forward to seeing any of you who can make it at our summer party this Friday, 8-8-08. See ya.